Tyson Fury has responded to Deontay Wilder in regards to their much anticipated rematch and the fact that Deontay Wilder said his side of the deal had been signed. Now, Tyson Fury said he has signed no such deal and he has seen no such deal. So it looks like Deontay Wilder is up to his old tricks again, running to the media and using other people's names in order to build his own profile. He has done it with Anthony Joshua for the last couple of years and now that Anthony Joshua has lost and maybe his profile has dropped a little, he's moving on to Tyson Fury. Although saying that, he has had a few choice words to say about Anthony Joshua after his loss to Andy Ruiz. Talk about kicking a man while he's down, says a lot about Deontay Wilder, whereas Tyson Fury has bigged Anthony Joshua up. He will be back bigger, better and stronger. Choice words from Tyson Fury and shows the class of Tyson Fury, a true champion, whereas Deontay Wilder kicks a man while he is down. Again, says all you need to know about the man Deontay Wilder. But again, it is obvious what he is doing here again, using Tyson Fury to build his fight with Luis Ortiz, because he is contracted to fight Luis Ortiz next, not Tyson Fury. So why is he talking about a Tyson Fury fight when Tyson Fury has a fight coming up soon and Deontay Wilder is fighting Luis Ortiz? So why would Deontay Wilder be talking about a Tyson Fury fight when he is signed to fight Luis Ortiz next? I think we all know what that means. Deontay Wilder is talking out of his ass again. He will not be fighting Tyson Fury next, he will be fighting Luis Ortiz. This is just a ruse in order to build his public image, again, using Tyson Fury, because the only thing he wants out of this, the only reason why he is interested in Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, is because of his public image. That is the real bag for Deontay Wilder out of this. That's all he wants, it's just public attention that he wants and craves, and he's getting rich off of it, he's getting wealthy, he is the WBC champion. I mean, Tyson Fury is the real champion because he beat Deontay Wilder. We all know that. But Deontay Wilder, he's the paper champion at the moment. And while he has that piece of silverware, he can dictate things like rematches and other fights like a potential Anthony Joshua fight or even a Ruiz fight if Ruiz were to beat Anthony Joshua again, which I don't think he will. I think Anthony Joshua will get back to winning ways and beat Andy Ruiz in the rematch. Then we'll be talking about Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder again. But maybe Deontay Wilder still won't want it then. Or maybe he will fancy it now he has seen Anthony Joshua slightly exposed. So perhaps he believes he has a bigger chance of beating Anthony Joshua, but the only thing is, Deontay Wilder, he cannot take a shot very well either. And against Luis Ortiz, that is a very tough fight. Luis Ortiz is game and he's ready to come and win. I don't like the fight to be honest because Deontay Wilder has already won it. Luis Ortiz is older and he hasn't looked great since the Wilder fight and he hasn't looked great at all. So I don't really see him pulling anything off against Deontay Wilder. I think, to be honest, his day has gone. No offence to him, he's just gone on past it, I think. His opportunity was to beat Deontay Wilder in that fight. And to be fair to him, he was very close. The ref helped Deontay Wilder out a lot. I mean, that was really, really bad. Even the commentators said, this is not good enough. A ref cannot do that. Give Deontay Wilder more opportunity to recover. Because maybe if they just come out straight after the bell, then maybe Luis Ortiz sticks one on him and he goes down. And that's it. Luis Ortiz is WBC champion. But that didn't happen. And Deontay Wilder is still champion, and he is fighting Luis Ortiz again. We don't know what will happen in the rematch, but my guess is Deontay Wilder will take care of business because he's got an older fighter. He's a good fighter, but he's an older fighter in front of him. And I think, to be honest, Luis Ortiz is finished. No offense to him again, he's a good fighter, very skillful, but I just don't think he has it in him to do 12 rounds or even stay in there and stand up to the power of Deontay Wilder. So that's that. Tyson Fury, I expect him to come through Tom Schwartz, but again, why is Deontay Wilder talking about a Tyson Fury fight when he's fighting Luis Ortiz? I mean, Tyson Fury hasn't signed his part of the deal. Again, Deontay Wilder is just running to the media talking about these big fights when he is the one who said they need to be made in media silence. Yet he runs straight to the media when there is no fight to be announced. So why is he announcing that he has signed a piece of paper that Tyson Fury needs to sign to make the deal official? Well, I don't know what he is doing. Well, I do know what he is doing. We know what he is doing. He has been doing it for a very long time. Using other people's profiles to build his own name. One thing I have noticed though is one person he will not dare mention is Dylan White. Dylan White maybe doesn't offer him the same profile as Anthony Joshua or Tyson Fury and if he ever sees Deontay Wilder he will expect him to say what he has said in the media to his face so he doesn't want to risk that. Tells you all you need to know about Deontay Wilder. But anyway guys what are your thoughts on this? These contract negotiations and the fact that Deontay Wilder always runs to the media and Tyson Fury saying he has not signed no such deal. Please drop your thoughts in the comments below, please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.